till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another one brand makeup tutorial. I love doing these and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. But I'm especially excited to do this one because I've been wanting to do Wet n Wild forever. And I finally did one. And all these products that I use in this video are very affordable. I did use my own brushes because I don't think Wet n Wild has brushes unless they do and I just didn't know. Um, but let me know if they do have brushes. Alright, so if you guys want to see how I created this makeup look with only Wet n Wild products, then keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply some sort of primer or a moisturizer just to keep our skin hydrated. And today I'm using the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. And this is not new to me, I've had this for a while. As you can tell, the packaging is really dirty. And I'll let you guys know throughout the video if the products I'm using are new or if I've had them for a while. That way we can kind of have a first impression as well. So I'm just going to be applying this all over my skin with my fingers. And what I really like about this primer is that when you apply it, it's really thick and creamy, but once it sets in, it just gives you this flawless matte finish. Right now, my skin just feels matte and smooth at the same time. All right, and now time for the foundation. This is new. I literally just picked it up this morning. And when I say new, I don't mean that they just released it. I just mean it's new for me. I've never tried it, so I'm really excited to try it. This is the Photo Focus Foundation, and I got it in the shade Golden Beige. Um, this was the only one that had more of a yellow undertone. I like foundation with yellow undertones because I feel like my neck has a lot of yellow in there, and these are the only foundations that kind of match me. All right, let's open this thing up. Oh, so this one comes with a little applicator. Um, I like foundations that come with applicators and a pump. It's just so much easier. Alright, so I'm just going to apply this directly onto my skin and then I'm going to blend it out. So let's blend it out. I'm using my Morphe sponge. This shade matches me so well. I'm actually really impressed. All right, so let's put some on the nose. Alright, no joke, I think this may be one of my new favorite affordable foundations. Um, obviously, we have to wait and see how it's going to wear throughout the day. And I'll update you guys in the description box. And I'll also show you a close-up look in just a second. Alright, and now I'm going to move on to the concealer. This is the Come Correct Celebrity Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair. This is also something new. I've never tried this one. So let's see. I'm just going to apply it directly. Whoa. From the tube. I'm going to take my beauty blender. Ooh, this has a lot of product. All right, so this concealer is a little on the thicker side, which is good because it's going to cover a lot but you don't need that much so you just need a little bit as you can see all right now let's try to fix this crazy white stuff under my eyes i'm gonna set it with my contour palette I've had this for a while now and I'm obsessed with it. Um, so I'm going to be using the lighter shade, obviously. And I'm going to take a flat brush like this. This is the Morphe M570 brush. And I'm just going to start setting the concealer. So I'm just going to take some of that. I feel like this concealer made my nose pores look a little too crazy. I already have big pores on my nose, um, so I just feel like this one made them stand out even more. 
All right, and then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using this Cover All Press Powder, and this is in the shade uh, Medium. So I'm just gonna be applying this all over my face with my Morphe E1 brush. Let's see if we can blend everything. This powder is not bad either. This is also something new that I'm trying out. So, so far I'm liking everything. It's just the concealer is a little too thick for me. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the contour palette and take the darker shade. And I'm gonna start bronzing up my skin. And this is a matte bronzer. Oh, and I'm using my Morphe G8 brush. All right, and now time for some blush. I'm using this beautiful pink shade. This one's called Fantastic Plastic Pink. And this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna use that same brush to apply it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush. All right, and now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I just picked up this palette, but I did open it up because I wanted to swatch the shades and they're all so beautiful. You can wear these shades during daytime or nighttime and this palette is called Nude Awakening. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take that shade right there and start filling my eyebrows in with that because I just feel like that shade matches my eyebrows perfectly. And I'm just gonna take a angled brush. You can take any angled brush. The one I'm using is from Morphe. This is the Morphe E29 brush. And I'm going to start filling them in. Alright, so the first eyeshadow I'm taking is that one right there. And that's going to be going on my brow bone with a flat concealer brush. Next, I'm going to take that shade right there and that's going to be going on my crease with a pointy blending brush. This is the Morphe M575. And then I'm going to take that shade right there to warm up the crease because the first shade was a little too cool toned. There's so much concealer and glue in my eyelashes. <laughs> All right, then I'm gonna take that shade that I use for my eyebrows and I'm gonna apply some on my outer corner. Let me know if you guys like this zoomed in angle or if it's too awkward. So I've been literally using the same brush to apply all these eyeshadows. Trying to make it easier on you guys so you don't have to go out there and buy million brushes. Next, I'm going to take that black eyeshadow and that's going to be going on the outer corners as well with the same brush. Next, I'm going to take that shade right there and that's going to be going on my lower lash line with the same brush. This is so annoying. I had some lashes on last night and I thought I took all the glue off, but apparently not. Oh well. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the palette and take one of the lighter shades 
and that's going to be going on my eyelid and sorry guys we're not going to be using the same brush we're going to have to switch it up so I'm going to apply some right there and then I'm going to highlight the inner corners with that shade right there Next, I'm going to take this black Wet n Wild gel liner. This eyeliner is a little bit hard to work with, but I love the fact that it dries matte. Oh, this wing is a little too long, so now we have to make this wing long to match it. And then I'm going to take some of that eyeliner and apply some on my waterline. Alright, time for some mascara. I'm using this Mega Protein mascara now that I have my mascara on I'm gonna move on to the eyelashes you can leave your eyelashes like this if you want but I'm going to go ahead and try these out. These actually look exactly like the e.l.f. ones. And you guys already know how I feel about the e.l.f. ones. Um, they don't stick and the glue sucks. So hopefully these are a little better. So I think I'm going to try... No, not that one. This one. Alright, here we go. Sorry, I gotta get close to the mirror. Alright guys, we got one on and it's not too bad. I actually love it. So let's put on the other one and see how that looks. Oh, and in case anyone is wondering, the one I used is the, let's see, Shutter Shock style. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna put on the next one. And once again, sorry, I have to get a little bit closer to the mirror. Alright, so the glue is still drying, and while that's happening, I'm going to move on to my lips. So the lip liner I'm using is this one right here. Let's see, what are you called? This one's called Willow. And I'm going to overline my lips, like always. And then, for my lipsticks... I got a bunch of them right here because I actually really love their um, lipsticks. So I think today, let's try a pink one. So this one is Think Pink. Alright, so this one is a little bit too bright. So I'm going to tone it down with Bare It All. This is just a nude. Mm, that didn't do much. But these two shades actually look really cute together. So I'm just going to keep it like this. Alright, and the last thing I'm going to do is highlight. So I have this illuminating palette. This is what it looks like. And I'm actually going to use all the shades together. Uh, let me find a brush. Let's take all of these. Alright, so this highlighter is very subtle. Um, I'm going to go in one more time. I'm going to use more of this shade right here.
And I don't mind a subtle highlighter, so let me see. I'm gonna do this side. I forgot to contour my nose. I'm gonna do that real quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to that highlight and contour palette. I'm gonna use a darker shade, of course. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. Storms we chase are leading us in love. 